Hi, everyone. Um, so yes, uh, hello, my name is Megan Guidry, um, and I am calling in from Auckland, New Zealand. I work as research communities advisor for New Zealand e-science infrastructure. And um, as well, I'm regional coordinator for the Carpentries in New Zealand. And the purpose of my talk today is to highlight how tapping into the Carpentries community could help us as we work towards a globally acknowledged and free HPC certification. Um, now, I am new to this conversation, so we'll add a little disclaimer that I'm not entirely up to speed with any existing relationship between HPC certification forum and HPC carpentry. So I'm really looking forward to your feedback and questions at the end of the presentation. So I love analogies. So for my talk today, I'm going to suggest that we imagine gaining HPC skills is this epic quest. It does, after all, take time, dedication, and support from the learner and overcoming obstacles as you learn something new. Um, so in this quest analogy, the HBC certification form supplies our protagonist, which would be the learner, with three specific things, um, which Jillian has already gone through, but I'll just rehash really quickly. So the first would be that, that well-defined competencies, uh, which I think of as a map where potential HPC practitioners can see what their learning journey looks like. Uh, second, the form provides an examination process. This is like the test that our protagonist must overcome to get the glory of HPC certification. And finally, the form would provide the actual certification itself. So that's the recognition that is meaningful and trusted within the, the broader community. Um, so the development and delivery of the actual training materials lies outside the HPC certification form. So the question I'm considering here is how should we go about developing and improving the training materials and delivering workshops, um, especially if we want the training to be compatible with a globally acknowledged certification. And the Carpentries is a really great ecosystem to look to for some inspiration. Now, when I say the Carpentries, you might be uh, thinking, what do I mean? So the Carpentries, if you haven't heard of them before, they teach the foundational coding and data management skills to researchers worldwide. It's a community. It's the quality lessons, the, instructor, the instructors and the, the maintainers of the lessons, um, and much more. Um, but a few things make the Carpentries ecosystem special. Um, and that's the, their global presence. They're quite active in, in quite a few different countries throughout the world. They're really focused on inclusivity. And they have a really neat instructor training mechanism, which uh, develops quality instructors and simplifies the process of, of scaling up workshops. And but perhaps the most relevant thing to us that I wanted to touch on today was um, a collection of draft lessons called HPC Carpentry. And HPC Carpentry is a set of teaching materials that were designed to help new users take advantage of high performance computing systems. Um, it's not an official Carpentries lesson. It was developed in the Carpentry style, though, as that introductory workshop that's quite inclusive, doesn't have any prerequisites. Um, it's not particularly new this lesson and has been a delivered a few times, I believe, in the States. But do correct me after if I'm wrong. I might not have my facts straight there. Um, but the reason I'm talking about HBC Carpentry today is because the Australia New Zealand region has a growing Carpentries community um, that includes HPC practitioners, of course, who understand the existing HPC skills gap in the researcher community. Um, and at a Carpentries Connect event back in February 2020, uh, an HPC Carpentry Working Group was formed. Um, there were about 10 or so people who raised their hands to work towards delivering this workshop in the Australia New Zealand region sometime in 2020. Uh, and hopefully, by doing that, we can gain some momentum and figure out 
how we want to um, develop this introductory material to suit our um, our learners. Though I will say that this this uh, initiative was started before COVID, so the momentum has slowed a bit, but the goal does still remain. Now, going back to our quest analogy, um, we can think of HPC Carpentry kind of like the guided trek someone might take at the beginning of their journey. It's the, the mental and the logical preparation for harder challenges to come, which in our, in our context might be intermediate and advanced HPC courses that are platform specific maybe, or learning how to troubleshoot on your own or something else. Um, but in the description for today's event, it was pointed out that users sometimes struggle to even identify the skills required to perform their tasks. Um, they struggle to understand if HPC is for them. And HPC Carpentry could be used to address this uncertainty and hopefully empower researchers, since it is uh, a hands-on introduction that allows users to experience what it is actually like to use an HPC. Um, it's meant to be accessible and beginner friendly, so it's an unintimidating opportunity to understand if HPC is, is right for them. Um, and of course, it could be tweaked to be uh, compatible in the best way with a sort of HPC certification uh, pipeline or what's what we're discussing today in this meeting. And so what, what would be next for this HPC Carpentry Working Group? We are kind of in the early stages of getting um, things together. We, of course, have the goal of delivering the workshop before the end of the year. But before we can deliver, we want to think through the needs of our users. Uh, perhaps we could do a learner profiling uh, exercise, which that's an idea I got from Christina Koch, who is awesome and I chatted to with about HBC Carpentry the other day. Um, we also need to determine a timeline for delivering this first workshop, something that helps us keep momentum. Um, practically speaking, it's a big push to do something new, especially when there are other priorities and things going on in people's uh, work lives. Um, and finally, it'd be great for us to understand how HPC Carpentry can fit into the HPC certification form so that the workshops we do eventually deliver um, complement this awesome initiative. So that's all I have for today, short and sweet. So if you have any suggestions, comments, or questions, I would uh, love to hear from you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. um, really interesting talk. So. If there's any question, Christian, you have a question. Uh, a remark rather than a question. I think um, that, well, uh, perhaps HPCCF, we uh, should be uh, frank, is not as mature as the Carpentries community. Uh, we are still uh, setting up a few things, um, as will be clear uh, during my talk. However, um, the Carpentries um, community, they, they think of themselves as a content provider mainly. and I think that's a perfect complement to HPCCF as HPCCF in turn is rather a didactical entity only. And so, yes, uh, I would just encourage you, uh, Megan, to, to uh, stick here with us. And, uh, and yeah, it was a really great talk, a really inspiring. And I hope that we can, as lecturers, actually adopt uh, parts of your material and contribute back. Awesome. Thanks for that. I'm glad to be here today. I'm not sure how to unshare my screen, too, so. No, uh, uh, no problem. The next one will just share the screen and then it works. OK, Igor, you had also a comment or question. Uh, yeah, um, so in my experience, uh, we've had a very good uh, training uh, provided uh, by NCI either in Canberra or the Pawsey supercomputer here in Perth. I'm wondering what relationship you have uh, developed, uh, if any, with the, actually the, the supercomputing centers, of which there are quite a few. And my experience is that they've all felt that it has been part of their um, uh, obligation to provide good training uh, to users. So I'm now sensing that there's quite a lot of people 
uh, recognizing the problem of training, but uh, somehow we need to all organize ourselves a bit because I'm seeing there's lots of people uh, wanting to provide, provide it and somehow we need a bit of organization around this. Yes, there definitely needs to be a bit of organization and I'm not uh, entirely sure um, the, I guess, are you talking to like who kind of takes responsibility for for providing the or, or coordinating this sort of uh, initiative or? Um... Well, uh, the supercomputer centers that I have uh, uh, worked with, uh, certainly in Australia, but even in the US, um, th th I have clearly sensed they have an a obligation of developing a relationship with their users. So people understand the complexity of you know, parallel programming with, say, with GPUs is so high uh, that the only way to have this equipment being used is through prov provision of you know, uh, quite specific training. And uh, but it's not just GPUs; it's just the, you know, teaching about how to use Slurm, all of those things. This is the kind of training that is fundamental and you know, has is being provided by at least the supercomputer centers that uh, I have been involved with. Um, I know NCI doesn't use Slurm, but uh, you know, they use uh, uh, something else. Um, uh, so, so all of this activity, so by the sound of it, is being done uh, independent of individual supercomputer centers. And uh, so what is this, so forgive me, I haven't heard of uh, this carpentry uh, 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 proposal or uh, a uh, uh, grouping uh, for teaching. How is this organized? Uh, who funds it? How, how is it organized? How international is it? Quite international, but. Right, I see. Okay, so the Carpentries, yes, they're, they're kind of uh, independent and very much dependent on, on volunteer instructors um, and volunteers for providing the workshops. Workshops are typically a two-day format and I'm not entirely sure the funding structure because I myself don't work for the Carpentries, um, but. Um, yeah, I think the, uh, the founder, Greg Wilson, he acquired a few funds uh, during the time, but mainly it's just a, a, a non-funded non uh, open organization where everyone who wants to volunteer and contribute can and may contribute. Um, I was only in touch with Carpentries, forgive me for interrupting, uh, when it actually started and th since then I haven't been. Um, yet I think it's more about shall we as uh, site representatives reinvent the wheel every time we give a course or can we take up material, contribute back, polish uh, material rather than everything, uh, develop everything from scratch. So what I did when we adopted Slurm, I really well up the introductory course from scratch and that is well something I don't want to do all the time <laughs> to be frank and, and I'll just add a comment to that so I'm from the EPC which is one of the um, HPC centers in the UK we run UK national service and we run all of the carpentries including HPC carpentry regularly every year a number of times all across UK so, um, and I know many other HPC centers do that as well. So they just reuse the carpentry materials and they deliver them to the users. And that's a, a normal procedure for quite a number of organizations. Awesome, I'll have to okay. chat with you. Except for my part, I will ask the same question of my colleagues at the Pawsey Supercomputer Center with whom I'll talk with uh, tomorrow to see what relationship they have uh, with yourselves and uh, how we can bring people together. So as you say, not reuse of materials and uh, have a sort of a more efficient and uh, unified delivery. Because one of the, uh, I think, probably objectives of the certification is a well-defined skill set that, you know, we should tell our students, this is what you need to acquire in order to perform in this space. And um, I think that's a worthy goal. 
Uh, and if you what? get to talk with Anne Backhaus uh, from Palsy, she's actually part of a certification forum as well. So she's aware of, of the effort and she should be able to give you um, a lot of feedback on it as well. Oh, well, fantastic. Well, so Anne is the one who de uh, designed the certificate for our course. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yes, so I'm, I'm, I'm working with those people. Okay, great. That's a very useful piece of information. Thank you. Rebecca? Yeah, hi, um, Rebecca from the Perkins Institute for Computation. So we are actually involved in the carpentries ourselves and there is quite a few people at um, Posi who have been trained as carpentries trainer and I think nowadays they're using the kind of template to teach their lessons, but I think they have their own material they're teaching. But um, as it was said, yeah, uh, Anne Buckhouse is the best contact for that.